This iTransfuse podcast is based on fact sheets you can find at transfusion.com.au, the Australian Red Cross Blood Service website for health professionals. Firstly, what are blood clots? A blood clot occurs when a group of platelets and some plasma proteins, especially one called fibrin, clump together. Why does our body make clots? If our arteries, capillaries or veins are cut, crushed or torn, bleeding occurs. The purpose of a clot is to stop the bleeding. This will allow the blood vessel to repair. So how does our body make the clot? Platelets are small disc-shaped cells that are able to change their shape and clump together to form a plug. Clotting factors are needed to help the platelet plug stick together and keep it in place. The most important clotting factor in this process is fibrin. What are clotting factors? Clotting factors are plasma proteins, mostly made in the liver, that help to stabilise the clot and seal the edge of the wound. Okay, so is fibrin the only clotting factor in this process? No, there are several different clotting factors that act in a particular sequence called the clotting cascade. Which patients have trouble clotting? There are many medical conditions that can affect a person's ability to clot. Some people are born without the ability to produce certain clotting factors and other people develop the clotting deficiencies later in life. Can patients receive clotting factors if they have low levels? Yes. Plasma such as fresh frozen plasma and cryoprecipitate can be given to patients to increase clotting factor levels. Fresh frozen plasma is a good source of all the different clotting factors and cryoprecipitate contains a large amount of fibrinogen. Plasma is also able to be fractionated in Australia by CSL in order to make concentrates of some clotting factors. When do patients need clotting factors? Patients with massive blood loss, for example from severe injury, can use up and lose the majority of their own clotting factors. Patients with chronic liver failure may not make enough of their own clotting factors, so as a replacement, fresh frozen plasma could be given. Those who are missing just one clotting factor can receive a concentrate of the particular clotting factor they require. The final common reason clotting factors are prescribed is to reduce the effects of warfarin. And what is warfarin? Warfarin is a commonly prescribed medication for the treatment of excessive clotting, like deep vein thrombosis, where abnormal clots form in a vein deep in the body. Warfarin is also commonly prescribed for some heart conditions. If too much is given, bleeding is likely to occur and needs to be reversed. So finally, how much plasma is needed to make a clotting factor concentrate? It takes 9.5 whole blood donations, or just over 4 plasma donations, to make one vial of prothrombinex, which is used to reverse the effects of warfarin. The fact sheets and podcasts are designed to provide basic information to people without training in health or science. They are not intended to be medical or professional advice. The disclaimer on transfusion.com.au applies to this podcast. For more information or to view the fact sheets, log on to transfusion.com.au. To become a blood donor, log on to donateblood.com.au.